The subject of kings in Himalayan art has two main topics. The first is what is a king by appearance? What is the description of a king? And uh, this is a visual category and it's also one of the 11 figurative forms or figurative appearances in Himalayan art. Uh, the second main um, topic is king by category or function and this is abstract. This is uh, who, who is um, claimed to be a king, uh, who functions as a king. Now we also have under this um, uh, category function we have uh, Indian kings, Tibetan kings and Shambhala kings. Now, the Indian kings can come out of uh, narrative uh, sutras, so we can have some depictions of some famous kings. Um, but otherwise, a lot of the kings that we will see are, are often coming out of the, the systems of the 84 Mahasiddhas, such as um, um, Indrabhuti. Indrabhuti one, Indrabhuti uh, the middle, Indrabhuti the 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 younger, or Indrabhuti number one, two, and three. However, you want to count all the Indrabhutis. Um, so, for the Tibetan kings, actually, we're dealing more with uh, a list uh, of um, who were the most important kings and and what is the chronology of the kings of Tibet. Now, there is one main kind of early chronology. Uh, which includes uh, Songsen Gampo, Trisung Detsen, uh, and Ralpa Chen. Um, but there are other kings of Tibet, and some of these can also uh, be found in art, such as the, the Dege Jalpo, or the uh, Lingsang Jalpo. There, there are others, or the Mustang uh, Maharaja, or Mustang Jalpo. So there are others, and then also the kings of, East, of uh, West Tibet. So we can find these. Also, we have uh, just sort of the random figure of uh, King Gesar uh, for Tibet. Now, for for Sh Shambhala kings, this of course relates to uh, the Kalachakra Tantra, and for this we have the seven kings of Shambhala, but then we have the twenty-five Shambhala uh, Vidyadara or Vidyadara, uh, however you want to pronounce it. Um, so we have a lot of different types of, of kings by, by um, designation. Now, to make it a little bit more complicated, uh, we also have, visually now, we have kings with king appearance, we have kings that don't have king appearance, we have kings that belong to sets, and we have deities with king appearance. So we have deities with king appearance, but they're not actually kings by, by category or function. We have uh, kings that belong to sets, and this is easy. This is the, the three kings of Tibet and then the, um, the Shambhala uh, kings and Vididhara. Uh, then kings that don't have king appearance, well, these could be Mahasiddhas, and these could be uh, um, there are other figures that are such as coming out of the uh, Kadam Lekbam text, where you can have a king, but he doesn't have king appearance. Um, then you have just the basic kings with king appearance. Now, the most famous kings with king appearance are the four guardian kings of the direction. So, Vaishravana, Virupaksha, Dhritarashtra. Uh, so, these are, are, the most, are the most famous and the m most commonly found in painting and sculpture. Uh, so this is actually a big topic, and I didn't really touch on what is uh, king appearance from the 11 figurative forms, but we will continue with that later. So don't forget, press the like button. You can subscribe. You can also uh, help support the work we do. Join Har on Patreon. We have unpublished articles. We have images that have not yet been posted to the Himalayan Art Resources website, and we have longer videos on Har on Patreon.